I'm going to be trying something, and I thought you'd want to be part of it. We've both been wrong. What I did with Justice was unnatural. It should never have happened. You're getting him under control. I've seen it. I can't help mages like this. Not while I am everything the Templars fear about magic. I need to be free of this curse. You know I'll do anything I can. Your patience with me. I marvel every day that you haven't thrown up your hands and left. I've spent the past three years researching the methods of Tevinter Magisters. They're the only ones who have ever sought to reverse spirit possession, not just behead the victims. I believe I have a formula for a potion that can separate Justice and me, without killing either. Is it dangerous? There are always dangers with magic. But I believe this will be worth the cost. That was going to be my next question. I knew you'd stand behind me in this. Even if... What? Nothing. I've gathered most of what I need, but there are some... outlandish ingredients I was hoping you'd help me collect. A powder the Tevinters call Celepetre, and a small amount of Drakestone. Is it just a potion? Is there anything more to this ritual? No, no ritual. Just mix the ingredients up and... Boom. Justice and I are free. And we can take our rightful place among free mages. What is Drakestone? The Tevinters used to mine it for their apothecaries. There should still be deposits in the bone pit. Where would we find Celepetre? It's a crystal that forms from concentrated manure and urine. Ew. We can't just buy it somewhere. It's not used by mages here. There's no reason for any merchant to stock it. I suggest we search the sewers. There's an entrance not far from here in Darktown. We're not looking for virgin's blood or the tongue of a hanged man or anything, are we? Well, you know Tevinters. They can't throw a Winter Send party without a human sacrifice or two. But I promise, everything in my research says there's no blood magic involved. I think we're better off focusing on the task at hand. to visit the bone pit for the Drakestone and the sewers to collect the cellar pit. Do you still support the night? in glass houses shouldn't throw fireballs.
the alienage. We can enter the sewers from here to look for the cellar Petre. Are you ready? Let's go. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. This is it. The cellar Petre should have formed right under here. Oh, I don't want to touch that. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Sorry to drag you down here. Tread light. Trap ahead. See if we can find a few more deposits. See if we can find a few more deposits. Watch your step. A slave driver. Sorry to drag you down here.
Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. That should be plenty. Thank the Maker. I'm gonna have to do some shopping upstairs pretty soon. was very brave, coming back to face the Canari. It was idiotic. They would have killed me. And you returned anyway. You couldn't face the thought of so many innocents dying for something you could prevent. Tell that to the Viscount. It's frightening, isn't it? To realize you have the potential to be a better person. Mistress Hawk, I must speak with you. You're the only one that can help. The Wardens mounted an expedition to retrace your route through the deep roads to discover whatever it is you found years ago. It's a fool's errand, and my poor brother is with them. Nathaniel Howe. Nathaniel? Well, put me in a dress and call me a Templar. How is the old boy doing? He's missing, Sarah. Haven't you been listening? I'm not worried about Nathaniel. He's crawled out of worse places alive. I take it you and Nathaniel have some history? Certainly. We were in the Wardens together in Amaranthine. Hordes of Darkspawn, psychotic broodmothers, usual Warden business. I wonder if Nathaniel ever found a sense of humor. Why were Wardens interested in our expedition? Maker, help me, I have no idea. My brother never tells me these things. Wardens range into the deep roads all the time. But he's been gone far too long. Something terrible's happened. I'd tell the Wardens, but by the time I reach Vigil's Keep... My poor brother... Do you know any other details? I know almost nothing. Nathaniel never speaks about the Wardens. It was only happenstance that I heard your name mentioned. Please, go back to the deep roads. Find my brother. You must. The chance you should do more. Many Canari fell in Kirkwall when we departed. I am sent to gather their swords. If you find a Canari sword, return it to me. What do I get if I bring one to you? It is reward enough to complete a worthy task. But if you crave gold, that can be arranged. Don't you want their bodies too? Their husks serve no purpose. The weapons shall satisfy a demand of the Kuhn. This is what I found. Do you require gold for this task? I'm not doing this for the money. Very well.
Greetings, champion. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. It must have taken a lot of practice to say that all in one breath. It's mostly to impress the ladies, I assure you. I've come to ask your help, champion. Hiding among the Dalish is an elven assassin I've been chasing for months. He's a master manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. You want me to use my wily, wily ways to find out where the Dalish are hiding their self? That is part of it, yes. This elf is very dangerous, and he must be brought in before he kills again. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. That's ridiculous. How could anyone believe it? It's pointless. Quiet day in Hightown. 